Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking, five. What up? I said, what up? What up? What's going what up? on, y'all? What up? Chilling, what up? chilling, what up? chilling. As you can see, I'm playing some Call of Duty. Modern Warfare HD. Let me go drink some water. And my alarm is going off. I'll be, I'll be right back. I am back. I'm back. I'm back. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, don't forget to like the video. And how did that guy die right there? Like, what just happened? I'm still fighting him. Like, it's a guy back there and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> but I just watched the State of the uh, State of the Union. Is that what the speech is called by Donald Trump? And then he handed it to Nancy Pelosi or whatever her name is. Then she ripped it up. I just realized why she ripped it up. Uh, she tried to shake his hand and he just fucking played the shit out of her basically. And then she said, okay, uh, rip, rip, rippity rip. But... That's not what this video is about. This video is about they are bringing back Rust. They said this a season two teaser says something about they're bringing a bring it they're bring they're bringing it they're bringing it they're bringing they're bringing back the map Rust from Modern Warfare Two. Wow, they're bringing back Rust. Oh my goodness, man. I guess Rust was a fan favorite also, right? Rust. The map that never was that the map that wasn't in rotation and always got voted out. Like nobody wanted to play Rust. But I guess you guys remember more of Modern Warfare 2 than I do. I guess I did play, you know, I didn't put 38 days in Modern Warfare 2 or whatever. But anyway, to my uh, honest recollection, I don't remember Rust nowhere near being a fan favorite. Nuketown, I can honestly say, every time we went to Nuketown, like uh, Nuketown versus most other maps, Nuketown would get voted in. Not by me, but like by the, the people who were always at the bottom of the lobby and they were a lot of them. People who are used to dying a lot and don't really care about how they do. They just want to run around and throw a grenade and throw smoke and stuff like that. They pick the little maps because they're scrubs anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they die and stuff like that. Like me, I'm not going to lie. When I'm playing a game... I hate dying. Dying. If it's a gunfight, me and this guy's going off shooting at each other, it's cool. If I die from the side or from behind and behind and the side, I'm just leaving the game. Like if it's straight up gunfights, it doesn't matter. If it's grenades and, you know, if it's stupid deaths, I get pissed off. I get pissed off. I don't I emotionally off. I show it because I don't really, I don't really rage or anything at games. I, I just think it's, you know, it's just, I, I, I just don't think it's necessary to rage at a game. Like it's more things in life to get angry at to me. So I just, eh, you know, whatever, I'm I'm out. Like, why stress myself out? Basically, that's my approach with, like, football and sports and, like, why? Like, if the Eagles, like, for, for instance, I, I don't know where I'm going with this commentary, but the Eagles, right? I was watching the Super Bowl year, right? And I was like, yo, our defense, like, what, what the fuck are they doing? They're just playing off and they're frustrating me and blah, blah, blah. They won the Super Bowl, boom, they get a pass. The next year, 
doing the same thing. They're playing off and they're giving up these yards and they could have just been playing up and I'm predicting what's going to happen and it happened and they're just not listening. They're just not listening. They're just not Okay, listening. that year not went by. And then last year, the f I watched the first game of the Eagles playing, right? I watched the first game and they're doing the same thing. Why are they playing off? Play up. Play up. They're going to throw a little slant pattern. They threw a little slant pattern. Boom. They got first down. And I said to myself, I'm not going to watch these guys this year. Uh, 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 like, I'm, I don't want to be stressed out by grown-ass men that are making millions of dollars that don't give a shit about me. Like, why, why am I getting stressed? You know what? I'm not going to watch football this year. And I didn't watch football that last year. And... When, when games came on, I didn't give a fuck. When the playoffs came, I just didn't want San Fran to win the Super Bowl. But when the playoffs came, I didn't give a fuck who won. Uh, as long as Dallas don't win. And the only reason I don't want San Fran to win is the people at my job. That's the only reason. I, we got a couple San Fran fans that would just extra hype this year. So, you know, rain on their parade. But anyway... Rust. Rust. Who really wants Rust to come back? Why not bring back Favela? Why not bring back uh, Invasion? Which Invasion is in the game? Why not just bring that back right now? Like, you know, Rust? Rust? Like, uh, what's the guy with the Gucci headband? <laughs> but thanks, everybody, for coming out. As always, like the video. If you like the video... This game is winding down as I call in a cruise missile. And, and, just and, wanted to do this quick and, video for y'all. Uh, and, and, and remember, LeBron James is the jive turkey of basketball. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Did you watch Jive's older videos? And is you following Jive on Twitter? You better. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Jive. J to the IV. The crossover slow singing like the Osleys. And yes, even back then you can find me on the blacktop crossover 3-0. Soon as I get the ball.